Today, we will talk about Junior Capital Pool, JCP. A Junior Capital Pool, also known as a Capital Pool Company, CPC, is a unique corporate capital structure that allows early-stage startups to sell shares in the company before actually establishing a line of business. In simple terms, it is a shell corporation with no assets other than cash, which has not yet begun business operations. Their issues might be described as stock options rather than stock shares, since their value remains to be determined at a future date. This form of company financing is a Canadian invention and is permitted only in Canada. The Junior Capital Pool was created in Alberta, Canada, in the late 1980s to address the needs of startups in the province's oil and gas industry. Over time, it has evolved into the more widely used Capital Pool Company. A Capital Pool Company is a company with experienced directors and some capital, but without current commercial operations at the time of the initial public offering, IPO. The purpose of such a capital structure was to provide an easy way for early-stage companies to raise capital, with the additional money needed to launch. Since its inception, the Capital Pool program has listed about 2,600 Capital Pool companies, which have raised some $75 billion Canadian. For example, if you are founding a company that has acquired a reserve of oil and intends to explore and extract oil from it, you might structure the company as a JPC. You and your fellow founders would put up some of your own money into the venture and then list the company as a publicly traded entity on the Canadian exchange, even though it is still in the planning phases. Because there is no proven revenue stream yet, capital pool companies are usually considered very risky investments. Here are three key takeaways. 1. A junior capital pool, or JCP, is a new corporate entity that is permitted to raise money by issuing shares before it begins operations. 2. The JCP is permitted only in Canada and trades only on the Toronto Stock Exchange. 3. This type of corporate structure was a response to a 1980s boom in the oil and gas exploration industry. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.